Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, um, I wanted to talk about what's going to be coming up in the future. Because <laughs> it's around that time where, in Japan at least, people are going to start wondering about what's the next uh, summer unit's going to be. Actually, it's going to be miles away. It's not here till September. But I decided to do a video on it because I wanted to do a video where I wanted to speculate and pretty soon in the upcoming months we're going to get a bunch of probably fake leaks or real leaks depending on what you believe or whatever. Um, sometimes it's fake, sometimes it's fake but it looks really real, it's hard to tell nowadays. But I wanted to do it basically so I could look back in the video for when the actual summer banner comes out which should be this year sometime in September or August. Um, it'd be a fun way to look back and see if I got anything right. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. It's wild speculation. I'm only gonna I'm gonna try my best to use some form of logic of what seven units could potentially be going forward. But I have no idea. I have no inside info. Nothing. Just raw speculation, baby. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Comment down below who you're kind of looking forward to and who would you want to have at it for summer because summer is always the most contentious thing in the world. Um. It usually is. It's probably the most looked for banner in Fago outside of Anniversary. I'd say yes. That and the whatever they release in December or New Year. So usually, those are usually the big uh, high spots at least for me. But anyway, let's get into it. Let me put up some rules first of all. I'm not going to guess any men because I don't think we're ever going to get men in banners. If if we were ever going to do it, it'd be it would have happened already unless they count. I mean, Canaeus is a man. But, um, very much not a man body. Uh, still a man in spirit, though. But, I mean, from what I remember, the JP fans on the female side were not happy with it. But we all know that that's not actually... I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Either way, you know what I mean. They want an actual dude with a dude bod. I don't think it's going to be happening anytime this year, so... Uh, let's see who the ones that it could potentially be. Thankfully, App Media was able to release a list showing the units that don't have a summer uh, outfit at all and uh, are up for one. So on the Saber side, we got, uh, we got I was going to call her Attila, but I think it's Altera. We got Shiki, Benki, uh, regular Saber. Yeah, you can see here, Lakshime, uh, female Gaiwen. Guy, guy even though I feel like almost everyone knows her real name, I'm going to do my best to not actually say what the real name is. On the Archer, this one's actually really funny because this would be another case if they were going to do <laughs> Orion is technically a female servant, but um, Artemis is has the male uh, trait, even though... Because it's about the bear is supposed to be the actual servant, but it would be her in a swimsuit, I guess, in that case, which would be, I guess, pretty funny. Uh, in that case, mm, that would actually be pretty fun because then we could have a Super Orion outfit. But anyway, the rest of these are miss. Uh, we got here, checking here. The, I'm going to basically say the ones that I think are pretty big that could potentially get it. So, uh, I cannot believe I'm forgetting your name, Bridge Destroyer. What is your actual name, Bridge Destroyer? Because I constantly forget it because you don't actually interact in anything except for the Shiki event and then later on in summer, <laughs> randomly the summer the event coming this year for NA she shows up in it but I just usually call her the Bridge Destroyer uh, her name is Fujino Fujino, there we go Fujino would probably be a chance of it, the only reason I bring it up is because actually Ilya got one so if Ilya was able to get one then it stands to reason anyone from Cola would be able to get it and like I said she was teased in a future, not in the future, but she was, not teased, I guess she was, she showed up in a summer event, which is usually good enough for me, that's usually how Wakita eventually got one, but uh, then we have uh, Fairy Tristan over here, and then on the uh, land side, we got Horse, Fairy Chicago, I can't believe she actually doesn't have a summer event yet, we got Fairy Tristan right here, I can't believe we actually don't have a Liz Summer, uh, actually we can't get Liz Summer, because that would con conflict with Halloween, which is actually the time you get Liz new things. Uh, we got uh, bigger saber over here. Her body is usually the one that I'm going to gravitate to. Funny enough, the Valkyrie I feel actually has a pretty strong chance. Uh, Jaguar man, because she's from the original Fate Stay Night, so I feel like that gives him a leg up. Uh, we got 
drink, got Quetz, hasn't been used. Funny enough, Lily Da Vinci got one before Big Da Vinci, but I think it's because they don't want to use Big Da Vinci for anything yet because of story reasons, <laughs> which is silly, but I guess that's it. Scotty right here. Funny enough, I think she's been in plenty of summer stories, but it actually makes sense if she ever got one. And then we go down here, go down a little bit more. We've got Shootin'. She's a pretty big one in my mind. In my mind. Vitch, right there. Uh, let's see. And then just to round it off for the ones we got here, and Berserkers, we got Morgan. Tom well, funny enough, yeah, other than Vitch, not many other from Assassin that really come out to me. And then over here on the extra, we have Space Ishtar, uh, Evil Ushi, who I forget, Yamano, I think is the, how you actually say the name. We got Lip and. Uh, I was gonna call her Passion Group, but that is not her name. And yeah, those are basically the. Certain, the units that have not gotten in the swimsuit at all that could potentially get one. In terms of who actually has a chance, that's something that's going to be a little bit harder to gauge. So let's actually look back, because believe it or not, there are set rules to what they usually release in Japan for summer, which is really dumb, because these rules are usually enforced, but they're never outright stated, and people will actively argue with you that there's no such thing as any such rule, but they always happen, so therefore they are considered rules. One of the big ones is, of course, that usually the summer for uh, nope, that's not what it is. Come on, where are you? The craft essence on the four will eventually get turned into a summer unit. It's happened plenty of times now that it's basically set in stone for a lot of people, as we can see here. Musashi is not Musashi, um, Muramasa. Shigibu is on here, and then she eventually got one. Uh, over here, you can see here, Sai Shogun, she also eventually got one. Basically, if that were going to be the case, and that would mean one of these two would potentially get it, unless they wanted to go back and get one. Which is, of course, the older Ushi and her master, who is the Tengu lady, who I don't remember the name of very much, because I don't know much about her. Uh, let's see... Other than that, the other rules which are pretty obvious is that there's always a Saber Face 5 star in every single summer. I think there's been one in every single summer since the start of summer. Because then in the first one, there is two, I believe. Where is it? It should be right here. Yeah, in here, there was uh, Saber Summer. And then the next year, it was Nero and um, Alter. Salter. And then the next year, Maid, al Maid Alter. And then the next year, again, Jean is considered, I think, a saber face. Yeah, Jean is, Jean is considered a saber face, right? Let me see, just to be sure. I'm going to be clicking on here and look at the trait. My brother said yes, but nobody can hear that. And, yep, she has the trait, so therefore she is one, just to be sure. Uh, but yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Every single year, there's usually one, and they're not going to stop the trait anytime soon. <laughs> They're going to keep on doing it. So if I were to take a guess, the most, oh, the most obvious one here would be, of course, Morgan. Morgan would be the most obvious one. But does she actually, yeah, she's considered, I was about to say, if she didn't have Saber Face, then I would call some bullshit. She's literally just Saber, but slightly meaner and bigger boobs. And other personality trait differences. But on a, fa a facial look at, she would have to qualify as a Saber Face because she's literally just Saber. Same face, everything, everything. But anyway, yeah, she is a saber face. So in terms of what it could potentially be, I think the most likely candidate is probably her to be the saber face. Even though it... There, here's another rule that apparently is something that I never realized because people... Sometimes the rules get a little bit messy. They don't like to give units a second um, unit if they are important to the story or they most recently did something last year. Uh, I think that's going to be probably be bullshit for this year because it doesn't make sense. I've, I'm going to be 100% real with you. The, the most obvious thing to me would just be literally just make all the fairies, including Oberon, give him a summer outfit, give the other one. They're so crazy popular from Lost Spot 6. It doesn't make any sense to not <laughs> just release them now. Um, which would be silly because that would mean that we would have another 5 star. Because <laughs> uh, Faye Tristan is a 5 star. Um, Fake I Win is a 4-star, 
four star, five star, so they could literally just do it again, but this time with Lost Belt 6. Obviously, it would make more sense to me if they made the rarities different, but for the most amount of money, you would just straight up put Morgan in a swimsuit outfit and then just say that's Banner 1. So in terms of my guesses, I'm just going to straight up put all right there. I'm going to give myself seven. In terms of banners, I would give myself Vega win, Tristan, uh, uh, Lancelot, I don't know why Lancelot came out, and Morgan, I'm going to put those four. So three more for me, in terms of the guesses right here. Now here's where things kind of get a little bit more screwy. If we can assume that the other ones are from the CEs, then that would mean older Ushi or her master would kind of be on there. I think Ushi makes sense because the, the regular Ushi already has a summer unit. I don't know if they would make her more though. Yeah. It would kind of make sense to follow that trend, but I'm actually not going to... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go down that route. It would be nice to get another Ushi summer, but there's just so many units that they have in use that I feel like they wouldn't just use it on one of them. But to be fair, the last year's summer picks were really, really weird and out there. Like, no one would have... Like, common makes sense. Uh, say... No one really expected Say, no one expected Kanaeus. No one expected... Okita was expected. Well, not super expected, but in terms of possibilities, it would have been one. Anastasia wasn't expected, and Charlotte wasn't expected, so... Hmm. Much harder, much harder things. But anyway, I'm not going to put them... It could be a potential thing, but I'm not going to put it on this potential list for me. Even though that would be the easiest kind of guess on that one, I guess. But anyway, in terms of the other ones I want on here... The other three that would probably be a good chance. At this point, they have to give Summer Drake. I still can't believe that Drake didn't get a summer outfit last year when the entire theme was pirate related and it had multiple pirates in it. Like, super amounts of pirates. Just crazy amounts of pirates in this pirate event. And Drake was actually a unit that was in the story and didn't have a summer outfit. So I think it's very likely that she finally gets one. Uh, another one that chances are won't get one, but sure as hell does need one. Medusa. Medusa would definitely need one. I think the problem is, is I don't think they know what rarity to make Medusa. Because she's a regular uh, three-star, um, and then her other two versions are four-star, so it would make sense to make a five-star version of Medusa, but at any given year... Um, in any given year, what year would you give... I think that's the main problem with Medusa, is that I feel like they want to make her a five-star summer, but every single summer event, there's just so many other ladies out there who usually end up taking the, uh, the five-star slot that she ends up being ignored because they're like, oh, well, we'll do it next year. That's the only logic in my mind, just because there's so many four-star versions of her. I, I think they don't want to go forward unless they want to do one specifically. But uh, I think they're running out of... Not time. Time's not the right word. I just want them to eventually do it because it's been so long. I think she even had his, an early CE way back in the day, if I look back here somewhere. Uh, I'm sure you, she had to have been used in something at some point. You see, Ryder. Go here. And click on this. And go down to the CEs. Because she had to have been used. She's been used in multiple other things. Does she really not have- No, this is her summer scene, so it's a weird one. The sailor and- No, that's Gouda Gouda. Does she really not have- She's never been in this? That's crazy. She's never been in one. Huh. Out of all the things, maybe it's because she's constantly in Gouda Gouda. Maybe they never use her for summer. But that's weird, because they've used literally almost every other female unit under the sun. But her. That's weird. At least in terms of popularity ones. So that's just weird. I don't know what's going on there. But I'm going to say, I'm going to put her on the list as well. Just because at this point, I say screw it. Uh, someone I'm going to be putting on my sp specific list to say like, hey, why not? I'm also going to put on Wets, even though there's zero chance of it ever happening. Because the, the Japanese fan base are... No, it's not the Japanese fan base. It's the, gen it's the people who run for Go. They don't have any class. They don't have any true sense of worth so they constantly <laughs> disrespect quets at every single given turn but i don't care it's my fucking list so i'm gonna put her on it because i wanted to you have to manifest it real out there and if they do add her in it 
then I hope that that event never comes back and we continue the tradition of Quetz events never returning. <laughs> so, those three right there, let me see, one, I think that's actually four right there for my guesses, yeah. I'm gonna give my four shots preserve the Lice of Lost Bell six units, which is more, like I said previously, Morgan, Gawain, Tristan, and Lancelot, and then I'm gonna put in the ones that I actually would legitimately like just to even it out, which would be Drake, Quetz, and Medusa. In terms of other units that would kind of make sense, it's pretty obvious that it's anyone that has a saber face has a chance of showing up. Like, even, don't even use the logic of like, oh, she can't show up because she already has a summer fight. That's not true because the maid, the maid version was the, literally the follow-up of the last one. So just because the Bunny King exists does not mean a new version of uh, gigantic, humongous uh, Saber can't exist as well. So, plenty of chance. Funny enough, she also counts as the Saber face because she is Jane Lily. In the same case that the Saber Lily would also count, which is funny because she usually is in the free-to-play banners, but now that ever since uh, Charlotte got added into the the mix and got turned into a summer unit, it doesn't matter where you come from. As long as you are liked or something, you can be added to a summer unit. So yep, yeah, those are my guesses. And the other ones that kind of make sense to me, even though I don't mention it, is that at some point they have to just really shoot him as a summer unit. I don't know when, but they have to at some point. It's kind of crazy that she also has never had one, to be real. <laughs> I also would probably also say the same thing for the Tomomo cat, because Tomomo is usually pretty low well liked, and the cat is actually a Tomomo, as opposed to the other Tomomos that we have. Just kidding, of course they're all Tomomo. Vich is, of course, a Tomomo, and then we have the other one who is, uh, uh, I forget her name. Is she not on the list? Oh, she's too new to be on this list. Okay. But, you know, the other Tomomos. Uh, it's actually weird that we've only ever had one summer version, but maybe they're just waiting for a specific... <laughs> maybe they're waiting for a specific summer where it could be the summer of them. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give some thoughts, and then we'll look. I'll look back on this video and see in like three months when I'm wrong about basically everything and see who's up there. But yeah, those are my guesses for that. If you want to leave your guesses, feel free. I have no idea what it could potentially be, because at this point, all the big ones are out of the way, except for the Lost Bell 6 units, who are, of course, out the only reason that they're not actually probably, the only thing that would prevent them from ever being added is that they're too new. But I'm also going to call bullshit on that, because they're too popular to be ignored. <laughs> so probably at least one of them will make it on there, I just don't know who. It would be really funny if it was literally just all four of them again, and they just made money again, because Lord knows they would gladly do that if they could. Because if you don't know this, I think Morgan and the Fairies are the most returned units in the history of the fucking game, and they've only been out for like a year. <laughs> they are constantly brought back and brought back and brought back and brought- They got brought back recently, and it's because people love them. In the JP side, at least, and they go crazy for them whenever they go for it. So, it would make sense to make it, but we'll have to wait and see. Some of the other ones are like. Some of these other ones are just so far shots as well that's hard to kind of like gauge. Like, it would be nice if they ever did a Shirazade one, but Japan hates Shirazade. Absolutely. I think they're probably better on her now, but the last I checked, the temperature was not. <laughs> it's not her fault that she had bad writing and then had amazing writing that required you to pull a five star to, to read and actually enjoy. So, tough luck on that one. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Summertime. Bye bye.